Well, I just watched a video. This was on Facebook. And as you can see, I'm just pointing out my my uh, silver women. And I think this woman's name was, I think, Shaza Morgan. I think Shaza Morgan. I'm not sure her name. But I just watched the video. It was on Facebook, and then I found it on YouTube. And obviously, I don't have a description on the on the box, but and this woman basically is an escort. Now, you would think escorts would be a little bit more discreet than ever, but this woman was a piece of work. I mean, I'm not here to give her no traffic or nothing, but I mean, I mean, for you to complain about a man who came on, I think, what was it? He came, he came on her for about a minute. He was called a minute man. Now, here's the thing. If you was a regular girl complaining about that, that part I see, but you're an escort. Why are you complaining about a man coming on you? You basically are having sex for money. I mean, let's face the facts. I mean, this Charles on Morgan. I mean, this is this is laughable to me. Like, are you kidding? You know, and and I can understand to the degree that certain escorts don't want to deal with black men. As a matter of fact, I've seen a couple on um, what was it um, on these um, on these internet websites. I think, what was it, Backpage.com or something, and I can understand that they don't want to deal with black men. I've started to notice that. Here's the thing. I don't knock any man for renting an escort, but let's face the facts about a lot of things, or matter of fact, you know, renting a stripper. But here's the thing. You, you women, are you going to complain about a man coming in five seconds? And technically speaking, I mean... <laughs> I mean, that's just flat out pathetic. I mean, this is the lower of the low of the majority of you Western women. I mean, you, the majority of you Western women are a joke. I mean, that's just the bottom line. This Shaza Morgan, what I think whatever her name is. Now, obviously, I will admit the body is okay, but, you know, her face was just, you know, you look like, I mean, she looked like she was ready to age. I mean, she definitely was aging. And most of the white counterparts will age very quickly. <laughs> I mean, this is a woman I would just sit there and just use her as a cum bucket. And that's it. Now, obviously, this woman disabled the comment on her YouTube page. And that's fine. You know, you can dis you can um, disable the comment section, which is not hard to do, you know. And I'm not going to disable... Now, obviously, I'll admit that I've not disabled the comments, but... You know, it's just... it's just You know, and she has over 2,000 subscribers. Now, obviously, these must be really sent-out men. I mean, why would you get on YouTube and say that you're an escort? I mean, come on. Obviously, you've already proven that you're an escort. Now, if you want to advertise your escort business fine but i mean come on i mean are you kidding me but as they say like you know the world is coming to coming apart and if you are selecting clients based on the fact in terms as in if they're coming too fast you have no business being an escort in the first place i'm sorry but you know what? This is the world we live in, and then this is how messed up it is that these Western women are so messed up, and it's just it's just laughable. But anyway, I'm gonna focus basically on my business at hand, and you know whatever women that wants to hang out with me, that's fine. If not, I'm not gonna sit there and seek validation. But, you know, this is just laughable how messed up some of these Western women really are. I mean, it's, it's, it's a joke. So anyway, with that, this is Carl Mitchell signing off.